on the inside lane, the off kilter on the outside lane. Good start, sending them on the way today. Much better view for everybody. Hurry right along the waterfront here. In the wheel of the land, looks pretty good. Once again, the six cylinders only got about 100 horsepower as compared to 400 in the off kilter. 35 mile an hour versus 50 or 60 mile an hour. It's capable of 60. And it's going to be the off kilter picking up the first one of the day. Up next will be the blur head versus the contender. As we have the off kilter crossing the line first, making it official. Okay, next up, blur versus the contender. Bruce Newell and Bubba Sears and the white contender, number 90. And good start. Good start. Probably around 35, 40 mile an hour down here. 
Not sure. Pretty much did even into the turn, folks. Gordon's still having trouble getting her around as Johnny's headed for home. Here they come. Looks like Johnny Hot Dog may have a slight lead advantage coming back. Yes, sir, it is going to be the Flying Canadian. The Flying Canadian picking up the win here. Gordon coming across the line, too. Hard 180, and them both together, you get 360. 
way ahead of the turn over the off kilter. Joe's around, off kilter around, and here they come back for all. Listen to them motors whine.
heading to the turn first is Dana, followed closely by Johnny. Johnny's around first, followed closely by Dana. And making their way back. Looks like Dana may have a slight advantage. It's hard to tell this far out. There they come. And it's going to be close, but it's going to be the cheetah. Dana Stewart picking up the win. Once again today. There you go. Good start. Danny has a little harder job getting his boot up on plane. Triple six, no redemption. Outside lane, inside lane, Miles Dennis and the headache. He's trying to give Danny a headache, but Danny's around the corner first. Followed very closely by the headache. If he's going to give Danny a headache, he's going to have to hustle, and I don't think he's going to do it. Looks like he's going to be Danny. And he can keep it in the water. And it is going to be the no redemption. Cross the line ahead of the headache. So looks like Miles is going to have the headache. Jane Lynch in the outside lane. Good start. Away they go. actually pretty team as they hit the corner pretty even. Oh, even on the turn. This one's going to be a drag race back for home. Looks like the Black Pearl might have a slight advantage. The Legend's coming hard, but I don't think he's going to do it. Looks like it's going to be the Black Pearl. <laughs> Black Pearl pick up the win over the Canadian League. Good start. Here we go. Like the wind is just freshened up a little bit. In the lee of the land here. Hopefully they can. Looks like Gordon's having some trouble. He was hauling up to the line there. He looked back. I don't know if he's caught something in his wheel. Oh, there he goes. He's taking off there now. Okay, how about these guys? The headache versus no fool. Followed by off kilter and Canadian legend. Blur. Straight ahead. Okay, into the turn first, here, so the lead. Flying Canadian. He gets squared away. Let's see what kind of an adventure Gordon has getting around. Okay, Gordon's getting squared away. He's headed back, but Johnny's got quite a commanding lead. Looks like he's going to be the Flying Canadian unless his motor drops off. How about these guys? The headache versus the no flying. Miles Dennis in the headache. He's going to be taking on Terry Cloud in the no for one. And there goes Johnny picking up the win, making it official. And it looks like Gordon's having troubles. Not if it's with the wind or with something in his. And it is a good start! Miles Dennis. Terry McLeod. 40 horse class, making their way down there. The Oakboards will let them turn these flags either way, but as you notice, the big boats, when they go down, they turn away from each other just to be safe, because doing this and those big boats would be scary. As you see there, those boats get close enough together. Terry's got to get around that boy before he can... There he comes on her, but looks like it's going to be too late. Are squared away, headed for home. Miles is already halfway there. So Miles Dennis is going to pick up the win. Miles Dennis picking up the win. And up after these guys. Better start this time. Let's go.
pretty close around the turn. This one's going to come back to the finish line. Too close to tell, folks. Four versus straight ahead up next. Who won that one, Emma? Canadian Legend picked up the win there. It is the better corner, so we'll see who dominates and West sets them on the way. Into the corner, pretty even, or maybe a little hit. Straight ahead, or around on a rail, followed closely by the bar. And here they come for home. Second, the 20 horse class. Spartan is third. Who's going to be first and who's going to be second? Here they come. Back to the line. And it is going to be the Cheetah hauling it out at the end. Good start. Away they go. Even making their way down there, folks. Danny does have the faster boat, though. I'd like to thank everybody showing up and supporting us today. Yesterday was a little rough. Things didn't go so well, but today things are going pretty darn good. Knock on wood. As the boat's come around the corner here. Squared away for home. Looks like the no redemption. Danny McLeod into his 
trophy case. As he's got the lead, headed back over the headache. And that is going to give Danny McLeod first place in the 40 horse class. Second place goes to Miles Dennis. And as I get the breakdown of my rest of the class, I'm the Canadian legend inside lane. Good start. Check you on our website at nasbra.ca. 
PA. Um, you can check us out. It's the standings for the boat races. It's a lot of the videos. Um, and you can see who races in each boat and their horsepower. Now we are going to give out some trophies here for the 20 horsepower group. Third place goes to the Spartan. Second place in the 20 horsepower globe class goes to Flying Canadian. And he also gets a money prize from our sponsor for $100. And first place in the 20 horsepower goes to Cheetah. Horsepower Awards. We've got third place going to No Fooling. <laughs> His brother's going to pick this up for it. <laughs> Second place goes to Hit Eight with a prize of $100 from our sponsor. And the 40 horsepower glass goes to No Redemption! <laughs> and the 400 horsepower with the 30 foot boat, we've got third place going to the off kilter! <laughs>